Namaste. We've all heard about Ravan, a mighty, ferocious, terrifying Rakshas. We've heard stories about how he defeated the great Indradev and also took over the heavens. But there is a story about someone who made Ravan cry. Yes, he made Ravan cry out of pain. And this person wasn't Hanumanji or Sri Ram. Hanuman sure did make Ravan shake in his bones. And Sri Ram was definitely the one to defeat Ravan. But this story is about who, someone who made Ravan literally cry out of pain. So today we bring to you this beautiful story about the person who made Ravan cry and a beautiful stotra written by none other than Ravan himself. A DC where stories begin. After winning a war, King Dashagriv was on his way back to his hometown with his ministers. While on his way back on the Pushpak Viman, he decided to fly over the Kailash Parvat. Now, once King Dashagriv, along with his ministers, reached the Kailash Parvat, for some reason, the Pushpak Viman just couldn't go over the Kailash Parvat. It stopped. No matter what maneuvers he tried, the Pushpak Viman could not cross the Kailash Parvat. Now, this left Dashagriv confused. He had to find out what was going on. And in order to do so, he lowered the Pushpak Viman and got off from it and landed on the mountain. He looked around, he walked a bit to find someone he could speak to in order to figure out what was going on. And soon enough, he met Nandi, Mahadev Shiv's great devotee and vehicle. When he met Nandi, he asked Nandi, what was going on? What was the reason because of which the Pushpak Viman could not fly over the Kailash Parvat? Nandi smiled and looked at the Shagriv. He said that this was the great Parvat, the abode of none other than the great Mahadev Shiv and Mata Parvati, that nobody could fly over the Kailash Parvat. Hearing this, King Dasha Grieve was enraged. He was absolutely furious. After all, he was the powerful Rakshas who managed to defeat Indradev. He had managed to conquer the heavens. He wasn't somebody to be taken lightly. He urged once again and he said that I am the Shagriv, a powerful Rakshas. Nandi just smiled and said this is still Mahadev Shiv and Mata Parvati's abode. Nobody flies over the Kailash Parvat. In a fit of anger, Dasha Grieve decided to become larger. He decided to take a huge form. Ten heads emerged and twenty arms. Dasha Grieve continued to become larger. Once he became a colossal size, he put all his strength and might and lowered all his twenty arms to lift the mountain from the floor. When he did this, he dug his hands under the mountain and all his might and strength was used to pull the mountain up. He managed to do that just a little bit. The moment the mountain moved a little, Mata Parvati realized that there was a little jitter. So she was concerned. And having been concerned, she looked at Mahadev Shiv as though questioning him about what was going on. Mahadev Shiv simply smiled and asked Mata Parvati to wait. All Shivji did was raise his toe and place it on the ground. Just this action of his added so much weight to Kailash Parvat that in seconds thereafter, the entire Parvat fell down to the ground, crushing all of Dasha Grieve's arms. Can you imagine? 20 arms crushed under the weight of a mountain that now weighs 10 times its original weight. Dasha Grieve was in excruciating pain. He had no other option but to cry aloud out of pain. 
His cries were so loud that everyone across the world could hear him cry. He realized in moments that he was in this predicament because of his own actions. Dashagriv had now realized the might of Mahadev Shiv. He knew that the only way he could get out of this situation was to pray to Mahadev Shiv himself. So, in his plight, he realized the might of Mahadev Shiv and started praying to him. The Pandit of Sanskrit that Dashagri was, in his prayers, he started praising Mahadev Shiv. And in doing so, he spent several years. These prayers is what is called Shiv Tandav Stotra. Years later, pleased with Dashagri's prayers, Mahadev Shiv appeared before Dashagriv and offered him a boon, along with which he also offered Dashagriv a new name. Rav means to cry. Hence, the name that Mahadev Shiv gave Dashagriv was Ravan because of the loud cry that he let out. Today, in our episode, we are going to have eight-year-old Param recite the Shiv Tandav Stotra effortlessly. Let's enjoy the Shiv Tandav Stotra by Param. Hello, myself Param Kartik Vajrajani. I am going to sing Shiv Tandav Stotra. Jatata vikala chala pravaha pavitha sthale gale valambya lambitam Pujanga tunga malikam damad 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 Ninada vadda marvayam chakal chanda tandavam tanotuna shiva shivam Jatakata hasam brahma brahman nilimpa nirjari vilola vichivala Virajavana murtani tagatta gatta 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 Dharada Vindu Nandini Vilasa Bandhu Vandhu Rathfu Rathri Ganta Santati Pramoda Mana Mana Sikripa Kataksha Dhorani Nirutta Tota Rapadi Kwajit Vigamba Vemano Vinodha Metu Vastuni Jota Bujanga Pingala Svurat Vanamani Prabhaka Dambu Kumkumatra Pralipta Dikva Dhumuke Madanda Sindhura Svurat Paguttari Yamidhuri Mano Vinodha Matbhutam Bimbhutu Bhuta Bhattari Sahastra Lochana Prabhitya Shesha Lekha Shekhar Prasuna Dhula Dhorani Vidhu Sarang Repita Bhujanga Raja Malayani Baddha Jata Jutaka Shriyat Chiraya Jaya Tamcha Kora Bandhu Shekhar Lalata Chattva Rajwa Ladda Nanjaya Svuri Gaba Nipita Pamcha Sayakam Niman Nilimpanayaka, Sudama Yuka Lekaya, Virajamana Shaker, Mahagapali Sampadeshi, Ojayala Mastuna, Kavala Bala Patika, the good, the good, the good jolly, the Nanjaya, the Rikuta Puchanda Panchasayaki, the Rada Indian and the Nikojago Chitra Patuka, the Kalpanaka Shilpinitilojane Matel, Mama. Navina Mega Mandalini with the Dutter, for a coonish eating eat them up a banda bandu kanda, Nilimpanuja, he does the no to cut this endure, Kalani dana bandu, Shriam Jagaduranda, Prafulani la Panka Japa Pinchakali, Michata, with umbicanta kanda, out of a banda kanda, Smarachidam, Poachidam, Bavachidam, Makachidam, Gachidam, the Gachidam, Tamanta Kachidam, Baje. Agar Vasarva Mangala Kala Kadamba Manjavi Sapra Hamadu Vijambana Madhu Smaranta Kam Puranta Kam Bhavanta Kam Makanta Kam Vajanta Kanda Ganta Kam Tamanta Kanta Kam Paje Jayatwa the Bravi Brahma Brahma Bujanga Masfura the Gatta Gatwina Gamat Karalaba the Havyava Dimit 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 Nan Mudanga Tunga Mangala Tonikrama Pravartita Pachanda Tandava Shivam the shed be chitter than Payo, but Junga Mog becomes to Joga, his tail at Nalostayo, so it be Paksha Pakshayo to an Arab in the Chakshisho, Pajama Hima Hindway, some umpra Walta Yenman, Kadasa Dashi Vambaje Kadani Limpanjari, Nikujukota, he was in the Mukta Dumati Sadasi, she was Tamanjaliman, the Mukta Lola Locha Nola Lama Bala Lagnaka, she wait him under Mucha and Kadasuki Bavam. Nilimpanata Naga, Ika Damba Mola Malikani Gumfani Rapaksha, Dishnika Manuha, Tanotuno Mano Mudam Vinodini Mahanish, Parishwaya Param Padam Kadam Kajam.
I hope all of you enjoyed this beautiful stotra and if you've got something that you'd like to contribute on Adisi Munch and if you'd like to be featured here, do send us your entries on team at gmail.com. The email address has been mentioned in the description box below. With that, we end today's episode and see you next Friday with yet another mesmerizing performance. Till then, Namaste. A DC where stories begin.